Welcome to my episodic quest in discovering the world's most exceptional curiosities. I'm your host, Dr. Gideon Stoneshire. Come, join me by the fire and allow yourself to unwind as we inspect one of music's most mysterious entities, Kimono Dragon. Hey kids, let's make it rad. Rocket gets drugs. After a decade of radio silence, three old friends decide to pick up their instruments and make music together again. While outside an ongoing pandemic, Rising social injustice and endless political brawling have occupied the world writ large. A required shift from art to activism, or even an individual's departure from society has dealt a gigantic blow to live music's midsection. Agoraphobic audiences and empty venues have left musicians with fewer outlets for their craft. So when Kimono Dragon decided to reform amidst the socio-political heat of 2020, it posed several crucial questions. Is the timing right for a comeback? Are they still relevant? Can the world be a better place with them? Well, maybe. But there is one imperative question which still clings to the mind of the watchers. Who is Kimono Dragon? If you ask them directly, they will simply explain that she is an 800-year-old martial arts master who exists on the astral plane and advises their band on how to save the world. But the band's closest friends and fans, aka dragons, would probably just say that they're three weird dudes who play crazy music. But again, who really is Kimono Dragon? Such a simple inquiry, yet one which requires the context of time to accompany it. You must instead ask who they are during the specific year, month, or day in question. Otherwise, the contrasting answers from various listeners will only disorient you further. And even after compiling all the collective answers, you still could not truly understand Kimono Dragon unless you have witnessed their performance firsthand. On stage, Joe Nolan scratches feverishly at his guitar while drawing listeners away from their mundane musings into an auditory journey through the sewn fragments of his own psyche. Chief devotees Joshua Hatton and Chris Swirsky drive the progression of Nolan's vision through a layered foundation of chest-pounding rhythm. Verse after subliminal verse, their melodies leave you bewildered, but with a heightened appreciation for chaos. It's loud, it's fast, and it's crass, but the undeniable calling from deep within beckons you for more of it. Oh, that's good. Throughout the early 21st century, the eccentric prog punk trio posed as crime fighters, unruly gang members, rejects from outer space, and a mob syndicate and even in the nude. Ironically, they seem to craft their music in a similar manner, a stream of cacophonous chords and bouncing tempos which appear to have been harmonious from the moment of their inception. The band's worst fear is to be pigeonholed into a genre. They counteract this sentiment by confidently dancing across a thin wire between artistic intention and a complete identity crisis. Is Kimono Dragon the embodiment of a musical cult? Not likely, 
but let us assume the band is fueled by a greater intention than the devil may care aura emitting from their presence while possibly not cultists one can clearly see the trio's motivation to put us under their spell and they will do it regardless of who is listening because they don't know any other way and now a word from our illustrious sponsors Hey, when I'm on the go out there all day, I don't have time to stop and blow, get a full breakfast. So I just get a, a nice big bowl of wanker oats, make sure that I, I got something in there. Find it in your grocer's freezer. I mean, where stuff isn't cold. Hey, Mom, what's for breakfast? Whack waffles! Whack! Whack! Whack waffles! Whack! Whack! Whack waffles! Whack! Whack waffles! Oh, yeah! It's whack waffles! Pretty nutritious breakfast! You know, the secret to a good your mom's blood sausage is to really dress it with the blood. First, you move it around twice, then back once more, and then around. I love these sausages. Your mom is a blood-filled bangers. Find it in your grocer's freezer. Welcome back. And now, without further ado, I proudly present one of rock music's most exciting and titillating power trios the world over. I give you Kimono Dragon.
<laughs> ah, yes, a truly brilliant performance indeed. Those lads surely provide immense satisfaction. I would like to thank Kimono Dragon for being on the show. And if you have an exceptional curiosity for more, the trio will be performing live in and around the New Haven area soon. So please check your local listings for details. Well, my friends, it does appear that our time has expired. Once again, you've granted me the license to amuse myself on this egomaniacal campaign in becoming the utmost maven of all things exquisite. Until next time, cheers. You're off your head. I believe I've been swindled. <laughs>